Hello everyone. I'm really excited to share with you this amazing Indian country style chicken roast recipe. We'll start the cooking. Take 500 grams of chicken, either boneless or with bones. Marinate it with a pinch of salt and tablespoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of turmeric. Mix them well and marinate for 20 minutes. Crush 4 to 5 garlic cloves and keep it ready. Keep one onion, chop it finely. Take a frying pan, add your own special mix by grinding cardamom, mace, cinnamon, cumin seeds, chilies, bay leaf, cloves and coriander seeds. This homemade mix adds lot of flavor and it's what Indian moms do to make their dishes amazing. Homemade spice blend powder gives this dish a unique taste. You can use the spice powders from market also like coriander powder, chili powder and cumin powder. Take a little extra time and make your own special spice mix. This homemade mix is something that my family loves. It's a bit of extra effort but trust me it's totally worth it. Heat up a pan with 2 tablespoons of oil. Toss in finely chopped onion and let it sizzle for about a minute. Then add 5 to 6 crushed garlic cloves and a spoon of ginger garlic paste. The kitchen will fill with the wonderful aroma of these ingredients blending together. Now add the marinated chicken and stir it in. Keep stirring for 10 minutes until the chicken is partly cooked. This is where the magic happens. Add half of your special spice mix and stir it in. This is where the flavor really start to shine. Keep the heat on medium and keep stirring. So the chicken gets a deep rich flavor. Add 2 to 3 green chilies and a few curry leaves to make it extra special. These go in towards the end so they keep their fresh flavor. Add half of your special spice mix powder and stir well. Keep cooking slowly and stirring so the chicken gets all those delicious flavors. Keep cooking for 20 minutes until the chicken is fully done. You want it to be tender and bursting with flavor right at the end. Add the remaining spice mix and stir for a minute. To finish, sprinkle some fresh coriander leaves on top and a pinch of pepper powder for that final touch of perfection. This recipe isn't just a food, it's a taste of home. I hope you will try it out and enjoy it as much as I do. Please leave a comment how it turned out. Happy cooking! Thank you! Please give a like if you like the recipe and please do subscribe this channel for more healthy and spicy 
delicious recipes. Thank you.